As a family that travels about nine months out of the year, our absolute favorite city, and I'm talking including my five kids, is New Orleans. We have so much fun when we go down to New Orleans. I know that typically people think that it's not really a family destination, but I got to tell you, you're wrong. It is absolutely fantastic. We have a wonderful time exploring the art, the history, the food, the music, enjoying the people. It, it's just something that we all really look forward to going down and doing. Because of this love, and maybe maybe I'm I'm wrong in this belief about like that Mardi Gras might be pushing it a little too far. And I'm sure there's plenty of ways that families can enjoy Mardi Gras, but but you know, reputation-wise, it's not necessarily a family-friendly thing. So when we found out that Universal Studios does a Mardi Gras, at first we thought, okay, well, this is gonna be more family-friendly. And then when I told friends about how much we love it, I noticed that they were kind of like, really? You take your kids to Mardi Gras at Universal Studios? Because they assumed that this was not an event that was really going to be a fun thing for kids to do or families to do. And I got to tell you, they are wrong. And today we are going to share with you why we love Universal Studios Mardi Gras and how much fun our kids have at this amazing annual event. Starting off, we have the floats. They are absolutely awesome. They do change from year to year. I'm pretty sure that the uh, alligator comes back every year, but nonetheless, they do different themes. And these are masterpiece works of art, most of which I believe are created, or at least a lot of the um, portions of them are created over at Kearns in New Orleans, which is one of the places that we love to go and visit. This place is absolutely awesome. You can watch them in the process of making different floats and different sculptures and parts and things that are celebrated all at different theme parks, during Mardi Gras, during festivals all over the world. Um, you can talk to the artists. It's just a fantastic thing to do. You sure do. I'm now starting to think, you know, like a tiara always is at an angle. It's not straight up. Right, right. It goes out. Yeah. And uh, I want to make a make it where it looks like it has a line. So when you're out where you can go, whoo. Oh, there you go. So you got to think about that now. Because yeah. that's what you're sculpting. Very and cool. And getting to see all wow. of these pieces and, and, the, and how they're made and understanding that in Universal Studios is absolutely awesome. The kids love it. They're pointing things out. They're excited to see it. They, they think that, it, I mean, they're like giant, fun, colorful sculptures covered in glitter. What is not fun about that? The people on the floats are so much fun. Now, they do do parades in the evening or toward the evening hours um, in the parks now. The, a lot of this footage is from when it was 2021 and they were stationary parked, but I'm so excited that the actual parade is back. And so now you can totally enjoy that with your kids. Just find like a, you know, more quiet spot, haha, -ha, but you know what I mean. But the floats are amazing. The people are amazing. They definitely spoil your kids with beads. I mean, it's hard as an adult to get some when the kids are out there because everybody wants to give the beads to the kids and they have so much fun. Our kids came up with like a little dance that they did. Oscar and Annabelle um, had so much fun making up this little dance that they were doing to kind of like get the attention of the folks on the different floats. And they were loving it. Like they had a really good time. It was a lot of laughs, a lot of silliness, but just pure fun. I think this is a benefit of being a kid at Mardi Gras. Or at least a really short person. Really <laughs> short. Or at least a short adult. They hook you up with some bead action, man. That was super duper fun, right? Really cool. All right, let's get some beignets. And I gotta tell you, no one, I mean, they collected beads for, and, and they will go and they will collect beads for the entire season. And every time they go back, they will wear the beads from the time before, cause they wanna have like a full neck of beads and they get so excited about these beads. I'm finding beads everywhere in our house. It's kind of like, crazy how they managed to make their way into and around everything. I can't even imagine living in New Orleans and how these things just infiltrate every part of your life. Although I have heard that you can take them and they will recycle them in New Orleans. So I think we're going to do that in our next stop, which is actually going to be in just a few weeks. Hello, beautiful. What flavor did you get? Strawberry. 
The other thing our kids love and really have a good time with is interacting with the street atmosphere actors, the characters that they have out there that are dressed in costume, that are saying hello and waving and taking pictures. You know, they love to come up to kids. I've, I've noticed that when the kids are out there, they will come up to the kids specifically, do a little dance with them, say hi, wave, talk to them about what they're eating, you know, talk to them about their beads, and they love it. They feel like they are just such a part of the celebration. And I feel like that's something that's unique at Universal Studios. I'm sure that if you went to Mardi Gras with your kids, I, I don't need, I still don't, I can't imagine, but nonetheless, if you did, I don't know that you would get this level of interaction for your kids that would be like kind of like so fun and, and, and relaxed, really. The real hit for our family is the food. And this is where I really think that, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think that Universal is kind of winning on this front. And here's why. I think that if you were in New Orleans and you were doing Mardi Gras, getting food and getting snacks and getting everything, you, know, you kind of have to commit to one thing. And at Universal, you don't have to do that. Not only are they celebrating Mardi Gras, but they're celebrating all of the international flavors of Carnival. And so you're going to get foods. I think this year in 2023, they've got like 22, 20 plus booths of different places, including things like Belgium and Germany, um, you know, know of course Brazil and Colombia um, Mexico you've got so many amazing different places represented sharing what are their sort of key dishes for this celebration this time of year and what I love about that is that we get a hold of a lanyard you save a lot of money with the lanyard especially if you have an annual pass but nonetheless you get a lanyard we go up and we pick out a few different foods from each of the booths we sit down and we share them and we try things and why this is great with the kids is it really helps to expand their palate it expands their you know way of like you know their bravery if you will for trying new things it's so fun cool. dude grayson would be so happy here this is the um from carnitas arepas from colombia the arepa the is this beautiful corn cornmeal meal. british yeah. thing with carnitas and it's got a uh, combo of um mayo and ketchup and cilantro with avocado. What's nice, what I love about an arepa too, is it reminds me a little bit of a gordita in yeah. that it's cooked and then they slice it open, to, you know, and three then, quarters of the way and then fill it. So you get a nice crispy outside, but a soft, tender, yep. like uh, moist, you know, inside. Just cheese and corn. And oh my God, it's the greatest thing here. Oh, let's do it people. All right, listen, don't breathe it in, you'll die. Yeah? It's kind of like jello -y. It's like a jello. It's kind of like a gummy jello. Well, that's better, so it's not so filling. But with the kids and trying the foods, I've noticed that because it's a bite, it's not a whole plate that I'm putting in front of them. We're all just kind of bringing our forks in. Everybody gets a bite and tries it out. They're so much more willing to try new things and new flavors. And it's really cool. They, you know, what they do is they'll put a little flag from the different place that it is. So we get to, the kids save the flags. They like to figure out where those things are on the map. You know, we've tried some flavors. The people who work the booths are just absolutely amazing we've had such fun interactions with them uh, the colombia booth they have been doing these arepas for a few years now and they are unbelievably good unbelievably good 
and they'll actually come out and cook on what I'm just gonna call a giant like electric kamal because I don't know what else it would be called but and they will make the arepa bread for you know lack of a better word um out there and you can watch them do it and it's absolutely it's so cool it's like a great cooking demonstration of a, a really you know traditional food I like that I think that it really adds a lot of um, depth to the experience it's a lot of fun too for the kids to get to try a lot of the different drinks and the sweet treats that they have and then they get to try them and describe to us well what did what did you think of that what was that like and what I found is that now when we go other places they really are more willing to try new things. They are a little bit more expressive about what they like and what they don't like instead of just, I hate onions or, you know, you know how it is when you have young, young kids with younger palates. So I feel like it has expanded their ability to enjoy food. And for us as a family, my husband and I, who love to go and try foods, that's how we travel. Um, that's how we experience different cultures is through foods and music. You know, it has been a wonderful gift to have our kids really embracing this along with us. This is what you do. Don't inhale when you put it to your face because you'll inhale the powder and it'll choke you. No. And then lean like away from your clothing and take a bite. It worked. That's the way I do it. Just eat it. But don't inhale when you're taking your bite. <laughs> you don't have to lean like you're like about to be sick. You have to. <laughs> don't put the whole thing in your face. <laughs> The next thing that I think is fantastic that they do, which I mean, okay, as adults, you can do it too, but the kids love it they do something called a crew crawl. And what I liked about this a lot is that it is like a scavenger hunt. So it helped us as we moved through the park, you know, we're stopping and we're riding rides and we're doing other things. Cause you know, it is just a regular park day too. Everything is open as normal. This is not a separate event. It's not a separate ticketed event, but as we're moving through the park, the kids are really excited to find the next location to, to check off the next thing on their little scavenger hunt map. Um, what is neat too is they have little educational stuff in there, you know, that talks about like what this is or what that is and you read it and then you go up and you get your little stamp done. Um, you know, I, some of it's a little bit like silly, if you will, but it's a lot of fun and the kids really enjoy it. And at the end, they got this like super duper cool Mardi Gras necklace. You know, they do something different all the time, but it's been this really cool like Mardi Gras necklace with like a big mask on it. And so they felt like, you know, Flavor Flav walking around, you know, all excited about their big giant bead. But it was fantastic. I mean, they had a great time. The people were so nice about giving them their little stamps. The little, we kept the maps. They keep their maps every year. And, you know, it's a, it's a fun thing. And, I mean, we have kids in their, you know, late teens. And, and they're still enjoying doing it. In fact, I enjoy doing it. It's a good time. And I, I think kids as young as three or four would even enjoy going around finding the little sign, you know, and getting their little thing checked off. And then of course, getting the prize at the end. It's, it's a blast. It's a really cool thing that they do. So if you're wondering whether or not taking your family over to Universal Studios for Mardi Gras this year, I say go for it. I think it is a wonderful thing. And here, you know, on top of that, you're not paying anything extra for this. This is just part of your park day, but don't, don't underestimate the fun that your family can have down there. They do a fantastic job of making this 
everything that you kind of hope for and expect from Mardi Gras, but in a family-friendly way. It's accessible, it's easy, and again, it's included with your price of admission, so there's no reason not to check it out. Enjoy the food. Don't forget the arepas. They're amazing, I'm telling you right now. And of course, a beignet. 